Okay, we've got a pump. You can see it's been leaking. We're gonna fix it. <clears throat> Actually, not the pump leaking. See the dripping that's actually coming from right up. Okay, let's take it apart. Okay. So Tank, remove the drain plug and let it empty. The next step, loosen the bulkhead connectors, the two unions, loosen those, and then we will take the lid off of the filter. So remove the clamp. Then take off the lid. This one is a cartridge filter, but it doesn't matter if it's DE. Go ahead and pull the grids out. You'll need everything out of the tank in order to access the bulkhead connections. upper bulkhead is leaking. This upper connection is the one leaking, so we're gonna pull the tank apart. And then we'll need to remove the upper connector. I'm using a pair of pliers that you use to remove an oil filter uh, from your automobile. <clears throat> they work great. So once you get that out, uh, just give it a quick visual inspection. Also inspect the tank. What you are looking for is any uh, cracks that may be causing the leak. Sometimes these will crack um, right in here. It's really hard to see. But we're gonna go ahead and replace this as the new one while we got it apart. And most of them do not come with new O-rings, so if you replace it, be sure you order O-rings as well. So. It goes here. Be sure you put some lube on that so it'll go in where it's supposed to. Okay, we're gonna put everything back together. There's a notch. You'll see right there in the tank just line that up and then put it back together snug that up real good with your wrench uh, so that it doesn't leak don't over tighten it because remember it is plastic now okay now also going to replace this o-ring here i should have got two I replaced them both a lot of times after you take this apart they'll leak Uh, 0649. Okay, pull the top one off. This one's in bad shape. Let's put the new one on. And we'll put a little magic lube on that one as well. Now for the bottom one, uh, so that it doesn't leak, I'm going to go ahead and pull it off. And I don't have an extra O-ring, but I'm going to clean it up good. And then you can put a couple of wraps of Teflon tape on that just in the joint there that will cause that o-ring to be a little bit fatter just gives you a little bit of insurance that it's not going to leak put the old one back on add a little more magic lube that, this thing back together
full pressure and Okay, very good shape, no leaks.